which being interpreted, God with us. In other words, God said, Adam, you messed up and and I could have came the same day and straightened it back out, but I waited until the right time. Touch your neighbors and neighbor. God has a right time to do whatever he's going to do in our lives. Touch your neighbors and neighbor. He has the right time to bring you out whatever you're going through. He has a set time to deliver you from whatever hole you're in one He has a divine time to bring you back in relationship with him. But everything he do is the right time. Touch your neighbors and neighbor. I believe that we have stepped into the right time of God. When God is about to give the world something that we don't understand. I come to tell you Christmas is more than a toy train. Christmas is more than a bicycle. Christmas is more than a baby doll. Christmas is more than a racing car set. Christmas is more than a tree decorated. Christmas is more than a bunch of gifts, a bunch of eating, and a bunch of rejoicing. What God did to set us in shape for Christmas, he said, I'll never do it again. What he did, he emptied himself, pulled off his glory. God took off his godness. God laid aside his royalty. I said, God didn't allow himself to keep on his crown. He digressed himself, brought himself down to the lowest common denominator. I don't know about you, but the Bible said that we were made a little bit lower than the angels. We were the lowest of God's creation. He came to the lowest and became what we were, that we might become what he is. Touch your neighbors and neighbor. What kind of God we serve? He's able to change anything. Is there anybody in here that know that God will turn things around? Touch your neighbors and neighbor. If we're going to celebrate Christmas, we ought to celebrate Jesus. that we want. We can feed all the hungry that we desire. But the bottom line is if we don't teach them the purpose of what Christmas is, next year we'll have to reduplicate what we've done this year. Oh, y'all don't get me up in here. That was an old wise saying that if I give a man a fish, but then I got to continue to give him a fish. But if I teach him how to fish, he can go out and go fish when he have a need in his own life. What are you talking about preaching? God had a plan. But he said, it's only going to be a one-time yeah. event. Yeah. I will never do what I did. Yeah. And when I studied the Word of God, yeah. I found a passage in the book of Luke. Yeah. And Luke has written, uh, yeah. the great physician, uh, yeah. 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 written and left on record. Uh, yeah. I sat down to talk to Mary. Uh, and Mary told me uh, that an angel came. Uh, an angel by the name of Gabriel yeah, yeah. came and sat down and talked with me. Yeah. And he told me, 
and Mary uh, by a highly favored uh, and God uh, has chosen you uh, to bring forth a son uh, and Mary uh, didn't understand uh, what was going on uh, she said how can it be possible when I know no man uh, that's what God wanted uh, God wanted her pureness uh, God wanted her innocence uh, God wanted before she became defined. I heard, I said I heard, all the way out of the back of the heaven now, God shows her while she was still young. And the angel said, the Holy Ghost is going to come upon you and the power of the highest is going to release in you a child and he didn't even understand himself he said Mary I don't know what to call it I've never seen God do what he did all I know is that thing in you is a holy thing touch your neighbor and say neighbor that thing in you is a holy thing keep yourself from being spirit keep yourself from the common the fire the call the thing in you is holy touch your neighbors and neighbor that's why the devil keep trying to mess you up because you want to mess up that holy thing in you for the Bible said out of your bed shall flow river Believe. Get caught up in the hustle and bustle. One of my co-workers told me, 
She said, I might have to go and buy my son something and put it on the charge card. It take me about six or seven months to pay it off. We'll go in debt to buy some material thing. When we won't even come to the altar for free. I'm caution that. But a little bit of shame. But if you didn't see it, you ought to be shamed. Come on, somebody. Oh, Lord, I feel something in here. Let me tell y'all something. Amen. I, when I, when I, I don't want to tell too much of it. Because I got to come back and tell some more of it. Amen. Before Christmas come. There are several messages in this Christmas story. The one that moved me the most was this one. Emmanuel. God yeah. with us. Yeah. God. Y'all yeah. ain't got yeah. I'm, I'm talking about the God that created yeah. us. Yeah. Became one of us. Yeah. Because anytime you're going to yeah. redeem something, you got to become what it is that needs yeah. redemption. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, have mercy. Teach. Yes, sir. The world is blinded yeah. by Christmas lights, yes, sir. Christmas carols, yes, sir. Christmas cards, yes, that's right. gifts. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. Amen. Just like the Garden of Eden. Yeah. It's yes. just in another form. Yeah. God said, yeah. I shall not eat of the fruit. Yeah. That's right. The tree that's in the midst of the garden. That's right. The day that you do, yeah, that's right. you shall surely die. Yeah, that's right. We've been dying ever since. Yeah. Come on up in here. Teach. Teach. But you don't have to die physically Amen. and be lost spiritually. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. I'm trying to rush through it. Amen. But I'm trying to help somebody this morning. I'd love for you to be still like this. That way I know you can't do nothing but hear me. Amen, somebody. Because listen, we, we, we come to church year after year. And, and listen, thing that we used to didn't do. I see churches doing it. Decorating the church with Christmas lights. Oh, come on, somebody. The house of God is not to take on the form of the world. Come on up in here, somebody. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. We supposed to be showing the world how good our God is. Come on, somebody. I'm telling you not to decorate your house. We shouldn't come and try to make the church to be what the world is. Come on, somebody. Listen. I'll tell y'all next week. <laughs> but if I tell you so much now, then you won't really catch on to what I'm going to tell you next week. But listen, God broke it down in pieces and revealed different steps to show me what to share with you. So listen, these next few Sundays, when we leave, we're going to have an understanding that Christmas is really about God's gifts to the world. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. The God given. Amen. Come on, John 3 and 16. Amen. God so loved the world yeah. that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting. Let me back it up. For he that believeth in him should not. It didn't say that you wouldn't. Yeah. 
It's a preparation that you had to stay with. Come on, somebody. We don't never go to the place that I don't read the word. I don't need prayer. Come on, somebody. You will never reach that level, amen. As long as we're here fighting in this flesh, you're going to need the word. You're going to need prayer. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me in this morning. But touch your neighbor and say, he won't do it again. He won't do it again. <laughs> I'm going to conclude in this. He is coming back. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. But he's not coming back as a baby. Y'all hear what I said? Amen. Huh? Amen. He's coming back as the king of kings. Yes. And the Lord of yes. lords. A one-time event. If we miss what he did in the beginning, we may not understand what he did in his conclusion. When he said, Father, is finished, you got to know what he really talked about. Come on, somebody. Everybody stand up on your feet. Now y'all sit down and got like 